Well, no one has ever accused me of being an apologist for Gary Pinkle, but I have been accused many times of being a Missouri homer, and I'm okay with that. But let me get the truth out for you right here, folks. First of all, I did not go to school at the University of Missouri. I did develop an allegiance to the black and gold because of a longtime friendship with Norm Stewart. I have been critical of Gary Pinkle for not winning the big one after 10 years on the job. But let's be fair, too, and point out that Pinkle has won 40 games in the last four years, which is a wonderful achievement. Very good. Still, skeptics like me like to remind you he hasn't won any big-time championships. I bring this up because Missouri had two players go in the top ten of the first round in the NFL draft over the weekend. In the last three years, no team in America has had more first-round picks than the Missouri Tigers. We're talking about Alabama and Florida and Oklahoma and USC, any other football powerhouse you can think of. Missouri has established a winning tradition, so why can't the Tigers win championships with all these blue-chip players? They've never even played in a BCS game. Look, Gary Pinkle is a master recruiter, but I have serious reservations I have for a long time about his game day coaching. Missouri lost to Ricky Stanzi of Iowa in last year's Inside Bowl. Stanzi was picked by the Chiefs in the fifth round of the draft over the weekend. Pinkle had Blaine Gabbert, arguably the best quarterback in the country, and couldn't close the deal against the Hawkeyes. Missouri fans seem to be content, I guess, with winning nine or ten games every year and going to some second-tier bowl game. Pinkle gets a free pass because he's beaten Kansas four of the last five years. And let's be honest, beating KU these days is not a big deal. It really isn't. The Jayhawks are not the same since Lou Perkins ran off Mark Mangino. A lot of Tiger fans now look at the KU program as one of those Division II rummies who are looking for a paycheck more than a victory. That's Jack Smack.